We can also use proportions to help us solve when percents are involved. So the format for this is that you have the part over the whole equaling the percent number over 100 because whatever the percent is is going over 100 because that's how much you have if you have all of something and this is how we have it set up so based on that we can also think of this as the is over the uh if you're not sure well what's my part what's my whole whatever number is attached to the is is your part and whatever number is attached to the of is your whole. So the is over the of, okay? So it says 68, per, 68 is, ooh, that lets me know 68 goes into my part is 80%. Well, in this case, we keep 80 as its percent as a whole number. We don't convert it to its decimal equivalent. And it's over 100, that is a fixed value. 68 is 80% of what number? Well, the of indicates that this is our, our of, our, our whole number base, but we don't know what it is, so we have to put an x in its place. So now that we have fit this in, we can go ahead and solve this using normal proportions process. So 68 times 100 just means I have 68 with two zeros tacked on, and it is equal to an 80 times an x. 80 times an X. So there is 80 times some number that gives me 6,800 or 6,800. So to get the 80 off of the X, to separate it from the X, I have to, because this originally says multiplication, I have to divide it off of both sides because by dividing it, I'm finding out how many times this 80 went into this larger value so that I know what my X value is that I times it by to get back to there. So if I go 6,800 divided by 80, I believe that was 85. Let me just confirm this. 6,800 divided by 80 is 85, okay? Because 80 divided by 80 turns into one and one X is just X. So X equals 85. So I believe that 68 is 80% of 85. I can verify that by going ahead and plugging it in. If I have 80 and I multiply it by 0 0.8, 85, sorry, 85 times 0 0.8, I get 68. The other thing is I can say, well, 68 out of 85 and divide that to find out what do I get? 68 divided by 85 gives me 0.8, which is 80%. So that just lets me confirm that my proportional reasoning was accurate.